Hey, how you doing? Doing pretty well. I'm gonna talk a little bit today about videos and videos on YouTube. And I was thinking about, this is kind of a preface to my channel in general and thinking about some of the stuff that I've been, ah, oh, fuck off Java update. Uh, it's, it's, I've made some videos. I'm looking at making some more videos. I'm thinking about what it means to make videos. I'm thinking about what other people do when they make videos. I understand that one shouldn't base one's own one's own actions on those of other people, but at the same time, when you already have somewhat of an established medium, if you want to keep going into it, you probably have to do something. Like, you don't have to, but if you're trying to get a point across, you might want to at least follow the general guidelines that other places have. So with that in mind, I was thinking about there's typically two different ways that people do YouTube videos. One, they do all kinds of cuts all of a sudden and clump it into one contiguous shot. Anywho, that's one technique. And that's something that uh, I think actually goes better for people who have some kind of editing skills or like to take their time in post as opposed to pre. And it's a skill all in of its own or all in of itself and that that's totally cool you know if that's what you want to do go for it that's one style is where you have and also that style lends itself to a lot of research beforehand so when you have someone who researches 15 different points and they bring up all these different points and for each one they have um they they they, they cut to the next point some people actually cut so quickly so they, they don't put enough space between their topics and so it it, it sounds bad it, in my opinion, it sounds like you're going one thing and another and another and another and the thing, the, the thing, and they're walking in from the right, my right, your left, I'm not sure how the reversing works, um, and the left, and it's, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of pandemonium. Um, but the skill I was talking about there is the one of kind of being prepared, ideally, and to do one thing at a time, and then stop, and then do another thing, and cut them onto one video. That's that. It was a little long-winded, but it kind of ties into the second part, which is the second type of video is a long form, not particularly edited, someone who has maybe speaking skills or thinks they have speaking skills like me. I think I do. I'm not sure if I do. It depends. Uh, it depends on who you ask and depends on what I'm talking about. But if you take a video in its entirety and you're able to talk through the whole thing, oh, radio hosts, radio hosts have to do this. They don't, they don't get to cut. If, if you're doing live radio, you have to be able to talk on your feet, you have to be able to think on your feet, talk all the time. It's kind of like a let's play. When you have a let's play where someone isn't editing their voice after the fact, they just take a video, they record the video, they record their voice, then they, they don't even really edit. Maybe they throw on a pre-roll and a post and then send it out. And that's a different skill set. And some people might say that that's more of a personality trait, but I'm sure you can train it. There are public speaking classes. And so when you have the second option, there are, you don't get a lot of jump cuts. You also, unless you're really, really, really into the media, you're probably not going to be that researched. It's probably going to be more off the cuff, what you think is a person, what immediately comes into your head, and you can't really be checking notes all the time unless you want pauses. And, you know, well, <clears throat> quite. Uh, on the third day of 1767, James Lee de Numbabach. Um, no, sorry. It, it, He's the great-great-grandfather of Benedict Arnold Cumberbatch, who later, his great-grandson, is... You see, I, I've forgotten his name. Uh, Cumberbatch, what's his name? Uh, the guy who plays Sherlock. I don't know. See? It's a problem. When I haven't researched it, I just thought of it off the top of my head. You run the risk of having to cut something in, and... I think, is it Benedict Cumberbatch? I, fuck, I, um, I don't know. Whatever. Um... <sighs> So with these two things, the question is, where, where do we apply them in different medium? Medium, media, mediums, medium, the show. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I like, I like them both. I mean, I'm totally down to do premiere and editing and cut things through and cut out, um, uh, uh, from the videos, but at the same time, if I'm always doing that, then do I really have an incentive to to teach myself or to continue to learn 
how to avoid those in my speech because it happens with voice modulation, it happens with speech um, patterns, it happens with addiction. The more you do something, the more you record, the more you go through yourself doing it, the more likely you are to actually make a change because you're going to see everything that's going on from maybe the outside looking in uh, as opposed to, it's kind of like when you write essays, the more, <coughs> the more you review your own essay, the more you review your own work and actually get into the habit of doing that, the less you need other people to come in and do it for you. Which, as we all know, once when you've written something, you're often unlikely to see the errors because you just you, you made those errors, and so you're not very likely to look for them. Yeah. So, that said, I've been making two types of content. Two. Two types of content. What fly? Um, one, gaming content, which was what I really started out watching a lot of. And that is typically leans on the side of um, stream of consciousness, uh, especially if you're doing some kind of long form game. And, uh, but then some people do it as cut over time. They try and really integrate themselves in the video game. Uh, William Strife and his Fallout run is an example. It's an example. He spends a ton of time on every single one. And I mean, it's, it's not personally for me. Uh, I, 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 like I'm not the biggest fan of that particular work. I loved his Minecraft series, um, but that was you know he put a ton of work into that. But I just experience Fallout differently than he than he wants to portray it. And I always read through the dialogue really quickly, and he goes through and talks, and I personally skip. So you know he's sitting there voicing over all the dialogue. It's cool, and I'm happy for him. And if people want to listen to that, that's great. You know, provides an immersive experience. But personally, I skip it in game. It's one of the reasons why when I started doing Fallout. A playthrough which I since cancelled because I wasn't having a lot of fun talking about it because it's really really easy even on hard and survival didn't really change it that much I, I tried it off camera and I was like you know I think I'll, I'll wait until um I'll, until the new survival hardcore mode comes out uh and then then there's something I can maybe offer which is my own perspective on it which people might listen to they might not to but at the end of the day if I find it enjoyable I'm gonna do it so when it comes to gaming I think the, the less I edit it, the happier I am. Because at the end of the day, what I really like doing is playing video games. And, you know, I want that to come through. Because I'm, I'm not going to do something I don't like. Why would I do that? You know, I, I can do that for a day job. And, you know, for, for a hobby. A hobby, I like YouTube. And I like, uh, like the ideas. I like the community, you know. And I would love to be some kind of a part of that community. Uh, and a contributor to that community. In a way that I haven't really been before. Because, I mean, you can contribute on YouTube comments. But, I don't know. A little bit, a little bit sketchy. Uh, yeah. So that said, the other option is vlogs like this, or video log, or I really don't like shortenings of words. I wish we standardized English so we wouldn't have to, you know, be like, oh, it's a video log, not a vlog. Or a, what does even blog stand for? I think that's a word on its own. So video, blog, video log. Eh. Um, but that said, for talks like this, for talks about uh, deeper issues, I would want to do a combination of things. I would want to combine research because, for instance, one of the things I'm going to talk about is memory and how our brains are... It's, it's tough because I want to... I'm tempted to include some neuroscience, but at the same time, I would just want to kind of talk about it in a colloquial way and discuss kind of the ideas around it because some of the neuroscience, they don't actually know what's going on, uh, especially when it comes to memory because memory is so, so very hard to figure out apparently because everyone's brain knits together slightly differently. And so to isolate the different sections is difficult. And you also have to like, I, the, the experiments are probably pretty hard to do as far as I know, which might not be that much. It might be a lot. I don't know. Uh, there's not a whole lot of knowledge on it. So in a circumstance like that, I'm probably going to be pontificating more and hopefully, you know, hearing what other people want to want to say about it. Or maybe some political stuff. I don't know. Politi politics get a little bit crazy. Um, I've been watching a fair chunk of them and it's bonkers. People get so mad at each other all the time. Ah. Um, and I'm not really looking to piss off a bunch of people. I don't mind if I do, but like at the end of the day, I'd rather people just be happy and get along and have a good time because that's that's what it's all about. Boop. Um, yeah, so videos. I'll keep trying different ways to do them and just let me know what you think about 
the pluses and minuses of the two different types of content. And if you are someone who makes videos, let me know why you do what you do. You know, why do you split it up? Why do you edit it? Why don't you edit it? Are there sections you purposefully don't edit because you want to show that you can talk for a while on the same thing without having to resort to editing after the fact? Is it kind of like people in magazines who choose not to go they're not to put on their makeup because they they're very confident in their appearance as it is without makeup speaking of the lighting in here is awful uh but it's all right because i don't care ah. I, I i care a little bit i'm not gonna not gonna totally lie this gorgeous mug <laughs> i'm just kidding um yeah so let me know in the comments i'll be hopefully be posting some more stuff and talking about some different kind of goodness I got like uh, 12 different potential video topics that I will hopefully get to and then hopefully as in April I think it is March April I don't know I'll get back to you on this one but the survival is coming out for Fallout 4 and I will be doing a, at least some coverage of that I don't know we'll see maybe I'll just do a little survival guide like a wasteland survival guide which, if you haven't played Fallout, you won't get. But it's topical. Kind of. See you tomorrow. Okay. Anywho. Thanks for watching. Bye.